add the rennet, which is mixed in about a cup of cold water, and you'll mix it for about a minute as well. I'll be stirring this for 10 minutes. Right now I'm basically working on taking all the way that I can out. And as you can see, it's fast forwarded. It's going pretty fast here. But once I get as much way as I can out, then I'll add um, the same amount of water back to this. And the water is actually um, gonna be 110 degrees. And you'll basically add that 110 degree water all the way up to that line, which was the original line of the milk.
This first press, I start out with just putting the, as you can see, the board on top, and that board weighs about five pounds. So I just start off with putting the board on, and then I probably set it for about 30 minutes. And then after 30 minutes, as you can see, I take it off, and then I will flip. Yeah, I'll take the tops off, I'll flip them, and then you just kind of flip them over, put them back in, put the follower on top, same thing with the other one. At this point, they're, you know, they're starting to become uh, all formed together. It's fun to see them take shape. My little helper watching me the whole time while I was doing this. Um, and then I'll put the top on. And I believe I get, yep, I get my five pounds and place it on there. So all together it's actually ten pounds. So five pounds weight and then the five of the board on top, so ten pounds. And here we are again, taking it out and flipping it. There's a lot of flipping it here yes it's starting to really look good after the second flip yeah that one looks really good all right and I believe this is the one where I put the 10 pounds on top let's just wait and see Ugh, oh, I was wrong. Okay, it's five pounds. I pressed it again. So, five pound press. Aha, this is the ten pound press. So, as you can see, I, I pretty much flip it every hour to every two hours. The reason being is because if you wait, let's say you, you do it after five hours, sometimes that curd will stick to either your cheesecloth or, as you can see, my Gouda molds here they come with um it's kind of like a cheesecloth built in so anyways the curd will stick to it and kind of pull apart so that's why you have to do it pretty frequently i tend to do it every hour but you can probably do every two hours so okay so here we're adding the 10 pounds so really all together it's 15 pounds that we're adding here Now this is something I actually recently learned about was writing the cheese. It's I always wondered how people got that uniform look in cheese and basically all you do is you flip it and put it back in the forms and you just leave it like that overnight. Pretty simple. And it comes out looking really nice. See I just take my tray I stick that on it and you'll see I'll kind of put a little cover over it. Yep, there we go. Kind of keep it from getting any bugs or anything on it. Okay, yes, I put it in a brine 
And if you guys don't know a brine solution, I'll include it in um, my post. The cool part about a brine is it floats when you put the cheese in. This cheese looks really nice. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And um, I'll put it in here for about 12 hours. That's how long I keep it in. About six hours per pound of cheese yield. And then here it is. Um, all done. I take it out and put it on a mat and let it air dry and I flip it multiple times every day. And it'll probably take about three to four days to be fully dry. And after that I'll, I'll wax it and keep it in my cheese fridge at 55 degrees for about two months. And then it'll be all done. Enjoy.